You know, it's a pretty big deal when you have one of these actors, when you have one of these, you know, celebrities come out and say what they just did because they know they're going to get backlash. And oftentimes for so many that, you know, follow what the celebrities say, and look, you and I might not do it, but there's a lot of people that do. They look up to these people, right? And they have their reasons, whatever they may be. But it will take someone like a Tim Robbins coming out and saying what they have now to really start to change the minds of a lot of others out there. We're going to get into this, what I just thought was a great interview that he gave here, telling all kinds of truth about the pinchy in less than 10 seconds. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video, help us get around those algorithms, hit the bell, subscribe. I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, if you guys can help donate here to the ministry to help support what I do, see more info in the description. Tim Robbins has admitted it. He said the narrative of safe and effective as it comes to the pinchy was a complete lie. He said that he bought in to everything. He said, I sold this. I promoted this. I demonized people all along the way. And I was completely wrong. He said, I was guilty of everything that I accused everybody else of doing. And it took me a while to come to that conclusion, he said. Now, for Robin's part, he talked about the fact that in the very beginning, he did everything that he was told. He said, I stayed away from people. I, I, I wore my mask. You know, he's, I, I basically isolated myself, he said, for seven months. Didn't see family. Nothing like that at all. He says, I bought what they said about safe and effective and that this is what was going to get us back to normal again. You know, we've heard so many people say that, right? Just get your pinchy, get your booster, get you're going to be fine, right? And then Robbins learned that when Pfizer came out and admitted, as well as so many others did too, they didn't even test whether or not taking the pinchy would help, you know, to stop transmission. We know that it didn't. We know that it did not prevent anybody from contracting it or from spreading it. Robbins noted that and he also said this, that he was angry in the very beginning. And the reason he was so angry that he adhered to the restrictions the way that he did was because he lost somebody very important to him who actually died uh, from the cuckoo. And because of that, he stayed here with these guidelines. But then he said he noticed something had changed, that around the time of the BLM protests and everything like that, he says, all of, all of a sudden restrictions didn't matter so much for that, right? They weren't calling for lockdowns. They, they excused that for whatever reason. And he started to kind of piece things together, you know, little by little, although he was still adhering. He said he even marched with BLM at a time. He would scream at people for not wearing their masks and not doing what they were told. And then everything changed. I, I got more to say on this here, guys, in just a second. Uh, first of all, let me put a quick plug in here for my Patreon if I can. You know, this is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support me here in my ministry because YT doesn't. I mean, they demonetized me a long time ago. But you guys can help me out in a major way with the ministry by donating $5 a month at the very least. You could do more if you'd like. But here's the other thing. If you only watch these videos through alerts from YT, you're going to miss a ton of content, okay? They will not send all of those out. They just don't. But if you sign up on Patreon, you never miss an alert. You are always up to date on all of my content. Plus there, you can also leave your comments completely censorship free. You can also send me direct messages. Um, all of those links, guys, they, they're down below. So take advantage of it again. It really helps out. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. He said that, you know, when he also noticed, you know, certain people that were not welcome, especially at the theater, because he loves the theater. You know, he's been a part of this now for quite some time. Telling uh, these people that they need to show a pinchy pass, right? Or they couldn't access the theater without a pinchy pass or, uh, you know, or having to wear a mask. And he says, he goes, when you close the theater off to people, when you start to give reasons why they can't attend, he says, it stops being the theater. At that point, he says, this should be a place that everybody can come together despite any sort of political differences they may have, it doesn't matter. Everybody should be able to come to a theater, enjoy a show, 
without any of this going on. He says, but I see what exactly what it is that's going on here right now. He says, this was all used to promote an agenda, to demonize certain people that wouldn't go along with it and promote only one set, one set, of ideas and he says it almost looks to me like what they want to do is single-handedly destroy you know the the arts world the arts and entertainment although i would take it a step further he's on the right track that being tim robbins but this is what it really is it's about taking down this old order this society that we know and building forth a new world order which we know according to bible prophecy is going to happen now tim robbins didn't take it in that direction but if you really read into what he was saying here, that's what he's getting at. He may not know that. And I'm not even saying this guy is a Christian. He may very well still be um, a liberal. I'm not even saying that he's a, a, a Christian by any means, but he's at least now willing to come out. And he doesn't care who likes it or not. He says, I have to be honest here. He says, he goes, and I have to be willing to admit when I'm wrong. See, so few are willing to do that. He says, at my age, I have to, you know, be I can take responsibility and come out and say, you know what, I was wrong on stuff. I made people feel terrible and I apologize for that. I demonized them and I shouldn't have. Because I bought into it. I bought into whatever they told me, whatever the experts said, I bought it because I wanted to be good, you know, and, and stop the spread and all this. And he was thinking about his friend. It it is an amazing interview. And and, and trust me. If you have people, because I, I've talked to many of you as well who have left comments when I talk about the pinchy, I know many of you have lost loved ones that have succumbed to the pressure, that have bought into the lie. And, and many of you are even still, still dealing with it right now as to where you're dealing with people in your family who are pressuring you to take it, or it's ripped your family apart. And again, it's, it's, all, it's all part of a grand design, but you know, I would tell you, you know, share this video around with people. Sometimes again, and I know it's like, you know, some people might think, well, who cares about what Tim Robbins thinks? But again, uh, for so many people that look to the celebrities as, you know, these, you know, idle sorts, when one of them changes on something, sometimes it can get someone else to think about it. I mean, who am I, right? I'm some blind guy on YouTube. I don't get that many views. I'm not that inspirational of a person. I do my best to communicate the information um, and to alert people the best that I can, but I'm not a big name. Tim Robbins has far more of a reach than I do. So people might be more inclined to hear his, you know, his story. So again, than mine. So, uh, you know, share this video again and let people know what it is that he is saying here. You never know. It might spark a change and prevent others from uh, making a terrible mistake of uh, trusting these so-called experts and getting this pinchy. I'm going to put the full interview down below here in the description for you guys to check out if you would like to do so. Um, I'm not done just yet, though. I don't leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior because we are here in the last days and Christ is coming soon. If you're watching this video now and you're someone that has not yet accepted him in your life, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. It's a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news, though, is this, is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then you just jump right back into your old ways. No, it means to turn from sin, those lifestyles, patterns, behaviors, habits, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.